<laughs> All nice and dry under there still. getting ready to set a fire all right you're eating grass again are you you little bitch <laughs> Come on now, you're going to be sick aren't you because you've been eating grass. Go and eat your dinner.
So, this setup at the post office where I was set up to defend myself. And then on another occasion, distracted, so my bank card could be taken. Not used or anything done with it, just as a mind game. So I have to go all the way into the city to fuck about, go out of my way, and more to the point, away from this property while my dog's being attacked and poisoned. So, today, after last night going to the shop, same setup shop, by the setup steeple. Because of the book, remember? So, this morning I go out my door, see the neighbour from the click opposite his house. Watching, turn round, neighbour at the end of the road, watching. I thought, yep, they're up to something. Get round the corner, see the two police vans sitting just the other side of that shed there, on the road behind now. Just looking busy, but not busy enough because there was loads of them and they was just acting on their toes sort of stuff, shuffling about. Body language gave them away. So I started recording without pointing the camera at them. Went to the post office, asked for my refund again. Manager wasn't there, like I was told he would be now, because it was all a game, wasn't it? So as I've turned and come away, rather than be distracted dealing with it or raising my voice or any other reaction just walked away from it same as I did with the poisoning of the fence and as I come round the corner the two police vans are rushing towards the post office banking on it wasn't they all mood manipulation like I've said a little game being played with my life. So, uh, boot boys, E2R's boot boys. And she's at Wood Farm, Sandringham at the moment. All her annoying little yellow and black wasps are irritating people because they're not being afraid enough. So yeah, out of sugar, out of sweeteners. Not gonna waste my time going up to that shop and uh, increasing their profits at my expense when they've already mugged me off. So they've just lost my business for good. I should go out of my way to spend my money elsewhere. And the police woman that's local here speaks for itself really, doesn't it? <laughs> Getting it now, did you see that?
Roxy, come away. You know it's a distraction. Caught them again.